Hey, um, can you hear me? Okay, good. This is, my name is Drew Robinson. I'm here doing this um, assignment for the American Christian Heritage class, Liberty University, and um, the the denomination that I chose was the Presbyterian Church. So I'm here in my home office, coming at you live from Pinehurst, North Carolina. So I'm gonna go over it real quick because it's only a few minutes. So the Presbyterian Church and some of the effects, some of the significance it's had on American history. Um, so let's go. Okay, boom. Now. There, there are four articles basically I, I read and I'll cite. One is by um, Mark Funk, uh, and he t basically talks about the early history of the Presbyterian Church within the founding um, of America or some of the significance. So some of the things, and there's a lot of information on here, but some of the stuff he talks about is unlike a lot of other denominations, the Presbyterian Church was not restricted to one concentrated area all right so some examples on there like the puritans in new england the anglicans in the south quakers in pennsylvania roman catholics in maryland no the presbyterians were throughout the colonies all right um so it was they weren't in one central spot another big thing that the presbyterians believed in which i'll get to later is universal education and organized schools so the big one that we think about is right well eventually became princeton university but they believed in education and we'll look at some of the other um institutions that that they that they founded uh in a large influx so particularly in this area where i live in the southern part of north carolina and there is a there was a bunch of scotch irish who came and uh, many of the Scotch Irish were Presbyterians. Now, Scotch Irish came throughout the colonies, all right, in various colonies. And so that kind of led to why the Presbyterian Church was widespread, all right, throughout many colonies. And uh, Mark Punk, there's some of the, one thing he notes here is this uh, it's not a direct quote, I kind of paraphrased it, but what I mentioned earlier, one of the earlier, it was not sectional, all right, nor limited to a few colonies. A cosmopolitan, that's the word he used, array of people. So you didn't, it wasn't just the Dutch or the English or the Scotch Irish, you know, that um, practiced this, this denomination. No, they were accepting of all um, of these various groups, these immigrants. Okay. So that's something that is an American value. And they were really principled on democracy as well. All right, so basically most of the stuff I'm hiding here is favorable things about the Presbyterian Church. All right, so that's kind of the early part of it. Now, um, no, all right, there's another article that I, I read. Uh, what he wrote about was during the Civil War and how the Presbyterian, much like non-Baptist, all right, um, in the Baptist Church, we know split during the Civil War. But the Presbyterian Church did as well along regional lines, similar to the Baptist Church, right? You have there like a southern and northern um, split there, okay? Following the war, so I wasn't aware of that. Now, I have been to a few Presbyterian churches, but, you know, I'm not, like I'm Baptist. So, but following the war, a college here in North Carolina, Johnson C. Smith, it's an HBCU, all right? Um, I was, I went to undergrad to an HBCU. But this was an HBCU or historical black college in Charlotte was founded by Presbyterian leaders. Um, you know, what white Presbyterian leaders helped found and set up this college for African Americans. In addition, you see Princeton Seminary there, and I would think of Princeton College as um, kind of a preeminent Presbyterian uh, institution, but they took on African American students as well. Now, I don't think uh, an article that said none of them, you know, they didn't fully take them on and graduate. They took them on the seminary part to help them uh, to help expand the religion to the African American sect of the population. All right. So now the last thing I'm going over, a really big significant, is uh, the now there were other Presbyterian uh, presidents, but the main one that we kind of look at is Woodrow Wilson. Well, why? Because his dad was his father was a Presbyterian minister. And he also went to Princeton University. He was president of Princeton University. So he is what you would say the most well-known 
Presbyterian president, and he had a lot of Presbyterian values. There's a quote right there that Woodrow Wilson said that Foley in his article writes about. Christianity must be fundamentally individualistic. All right. That also goes along with the Presbyterian doctrine of an individual relation, personal relationship with God, individualism. Okay. So Woodrow Wilson, this is something that he kind of tried to stress to the American people. Now he, he widely considered to be one of our better presidents, uh, the first Southerner uh, to become president after the Civil War. And, um, you know, the passage of the 19th Amendment there, he helped get that passed, giving women the right to vote. But um, so that, this is something that uh, it's, you know, important. Something we, we think about with Presbyterian leaders in our country, one of them was Richard Wilson. I believe there are others as well. Um, I think maybe Reagan and uh, Benjamin Harrison were as well, but you know Woodrow Wilson is the main one we think about because he was so endowed uh, or entrenched in those values. Now, Graham Mount, he writes an article, wrote an article about how the Presbyterian missionaries influenced um, American imperialism. Okay, particularly his article is about Puerto Rico and the imperialistic era and how um, the spreading of the white men's burden. We have to go and Christianize these other uh, countries uh, or these other places outside of mainland United States, so kind of the influence of Presbyterian missionaries with that. But then, I mean, now it wasn't just Presbyterian missionaries, there were other groups as well. But something to note is that Presbyterian um, missionaries were also involved with that. So, again, there's just kind of some background of the main things. Now, I'll post an abstract as well as the uh, article citations with this uh, post.